Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today I have the NEO stock price prediction going forward. I actually did a five year and I did a one year up to the end of 2021. These prices actually, uh, they're pretty crazy. So stick around, I think you're gonna like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I am Stockmo, an old stockbroker and financial planner, and now I teach high school and college level classes and what have you, and I guess I should say just for the short time because I'm gonna be going full time looking at the stocks and the YouTube and everything else, so that's gonna be starting pretty soon. But today, all I ask is hit this subscribe button, become part of the family. We're doing very well with the stocks we have out here, and more importantly, it's supporting the channel and I greatly appreciate it. I also have a link down below to my Patreon if you wanna see stocks I'm buying, be a part of the best Discord out there, I highly recommend it. We have a great few portfolios, dividend portfolio. We have the growth portfolio. I have the charity portfolio I run. So a lot of good things over there. I highly recommend coming over. And of course, if you need some free stocks, I have the Weeble link down below. It's gonna give you four free stocks up to $1,600 a piece. All you need to do is put $100 in there. I get one free stock. You're helping me out and I greatly appreciate it. You'll get four free stocks and it's like scratching a lottery. Uh, you know, you never know what you're gonna get, but you do know you're gonna be a winner with this one. So that is my spiel. Now let's get into it. Today I wanted to talk about NEO, the NEO stock price prediction. It has gone crazy. I remember the last time we talked about NEO, oh, I, I say the last time, but way back when I first started bringing up NEO, I was thinking it would be in the 30s by summer. These numbers that they are throwing out at the quarterly reports are crazy. So now I'm looking at Q4 already. I know we're in the middle of it, but I'm already trying to figure out what they're gonna say for the next uh, uh, quarterly report. And what I'm coming up with is it's gonna be triple digit again, year over year for Q4 to Q4 2019. And I think this is big. And so a lot of people have been asking me, hey Mo, where do you see the Tesla stock price going from here? Is it too late to get in? Oh my, my numbers are screaming, absolutely not. Now, for those who are day trading this stock, it is going to be a wild ride. We have a lot of things going on right now, and that's some stuff we have to look at. But at the end of the day, if you are buying this stock for the next five years, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video, and you're gonna to wanna to listen to what I, what I have for you, where I think it's gonna go. Remember, of course, this is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, I am, like I said, I'm just a teacher, so I'm here teaching. Now, always to go out and do your own due diligence, but here I go, you're gonna like what I got for you. So the first thing I see is these gross margins that they have, they were 12% last year, negative 12% for Q3, this year plus 12%. That is huge. And you know, the fact that they were able to deliver 154% more cars this quarter that compared to last quarter, everything is going the same way. And I'm gonna have a reason for going over this again. And the big thing, the revenues were up 160% Q3 v, uh, versus Q3 2020. These are big numbers they're going up with. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be the same thing for Q4. This stock is gonna be screaming nothing but good news. And, and the, the thing I really like is that they got the prices to rise by about 2% Q3 versus um, 2019 versus 2020. So all the numbers I'm looking at are going in the right way. They're getting their losses smaller. I do see this company breaking into sustainable profits and earnings. I should say by 2023, late 2023 into 2024, they have a lot of money they're spending right now. They're doing what they have to do and I love it. But at the end of the day, a lot of people just see this company as owning and owning the Chinese market of the EVs for the mid to upper tiers. We do know, I've gone over this before, that they are one of the highest, they are the highest rank when it comes to customer uh, customers recommending it to other customers, which we know Tesla is right behind them, uh, there with it, BMW as well. So where does this go with this, this 2021 NEO stock price prediction? And I'm gonna get it out there right now. I've said this, that I could see this hitting 90. I think 90 is the lowest you will absolutely see this stock by the end of uh, 13 months from now. I think we see this stock probably triple digits. And that's the good news. And that's just for this year, because I wanted to talk about a five year, because I've been talking about five years. Where do I see this stock in five years from today? And that's the number I'm, I'm really excited about. 
Uh, we'll get into that though in a second. What I want to talk about more is how are we going to get to this number when I talk about 2025, we'll say. And that comes down to seeing NEO expand past China. I don't think people realize how good this company is going to do outside of their home market. I think between them and uh, Tesla, they are basically two peas in a pot. Obviously, Tesla has a lot of advantage. They're older, they've been growing, they have a lot. I think their technology is better, but NEO is close and they are, they are doing it very, very quick. If you look where NEO is at in the short time frame that they've been around, compared to say Tesla or how long it took them to get there. I'm very impressed with where NEO is. Their battery swap technology, just, you know, like I said, you can get a, a car, drive into their battery swap, be in and out in three minutes and have a fully charged battery. That is incredible. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. I just wanna show this because I think it's amazing to look at. So as we look at this chart, you can see if we go back to the middle of last summer, and even even in COVID, you could see this thing at six, just working its way up and just, you know, everybody kept saying, hey, this thing's gonna crash back down. There's no way this company, of course, we were here saying, no, this company's for real. The customers love this company. The government's backing this company. The market is starting to evolve in China and they were going to have some good things. And of course, this is, this is some nice growth. I like seeing this because I think it's really sustainable. But then you get this, this monster growth right here. Up, 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 and then you see it starting to flatline a little bit. And I know that's where we're at. And a lot of people say, this crash is coming, the correction's coming. I think we won't see below 40 ever again. I mean, ever again. And, you know, and that's in the middle of this COVID and everything else. Could we have a 10% correction? Absolutely. I think if we get down close to 40, you'll see some big buyers jumping in there and taking advantage of that price because these sales that they are doing, their numbers, their deliveries, their revenue, uh, the fact that they could have production up to 150,000 cars within the next 12 months, huge stuff. Huge stuff going forward, and I think uh, anybody who wants to get into this, they always say, hey, Mo, is it too late to get into it? No, it's not. You can dollar cost average into this. We did have some really big spikes. I know there are some companies out there that doubled in just like a few, a week or two. I think Blink was one. You know, there's some big EVs moving, Xpeng, but I'm here to talk about the NEO stock price prediction I have going forward, and the fact that this car, you know, has a I'm looking at my notes and you know, 300 miles on a charge, you got 100 and fit, over 150 miles per hour in the top speed, 100, and kil 100 kilowatt battery pack. Th this company is doing what it needs to do. And I always talk about that, that revenue arm that Tesla's gonna have that I think is gonna be huge is those robo taxis. I think those robo taxis are a game changer around the world. And I see Neo being a part of that. I see Tesla doing it. I see Neo being a part of that as well with Mobileye working with Intel. And I see some good things there and that's gonna be a part. And don't think that they can't do some of the same things Tesla's doing if Tesla is successful with their insurance arm. You don't think Neo is gonna probably consider that if they come into the North American market. And there's the expansion I wanted to talk about. Could Neo end up, up, up could NEO end up over here in, in the North American market? Absolutely, I think they would actually probably do very well. You know, think, think Honda back in the day and Toyota and all these different foreign cars that came into the American markets and now they're just a normal name stay that we all just buy. And I think NEO will have that same opportunity as they come into these markets, especially if they bring some of their technology with them. I see them also working into Europe the same way. I think they will have a warm reception, especially with how they're doing in their home market and the customer service and everything that they're getting is so good and everybody loves. I think they're gonna bring it eventually. And I'm talking five to 10 years of really expanding. Of course, they gotta get to that point that they're, pro that they're having positive earnings and they're getting there. And like I said, I can see that at the end of 2023, 2024. And once they get to that sustainable positive earnings, boy, look out, that, that company's gonna be growing. And how much is it gonna be growing? I see this, I have a, my notes written down in under five years, I see this stock minimum 275 to 300. And that puts us at five to six times your money in five years based on my numbers, increasing uh, the production, expansion, and some of the other things. I think it could actually go much higher, but we have to see what are their arms they wanna do. When I say arms, I always think of Tesla and the energy 
the batteries that they could, a lot of the things they could do with their, also with their programming. And uh, I always said it's not really an automobile industry for them. They are more of an energy and tech and NEO could end up that way as well. So when I talk about my NEO stock price prediction, I called $100 by the end of next year, 90 to $100 minimum. And I also think in the end of five years, we're gonna be looking at 275 to 300 minimum. And this will be updated frequently as we move forward. There's a lot of news here. You guys, I know a lot of people watch this and say, boy, he does a lot of NEO stock price predictions. Of course I do. I have most of my money is in Tesla and NEO for uh, outside of what I do. And I know I did share a portfolio a long time ago. Uh, not a long, like a week ago, my EV portfolio. I don't know if I should have did that because I know a lot of people jumped on that. And uh, I, don't, uh, I don't usually go with the really high risk here because I want everybody to be well diversified. Now, I know everybody who jumped on that made a ton of money. I know some of the Blinks doubled over the week and some of the Neo and the x you made out like bandits, you know, and I love it. I'm glad to hear it. Now, lock in some of that profit and diversify it and say sell it all, you know, sell it down a little bit, lock it in, enjoy it, put it in some other stocks, get it in financials. I think some of the travel stocks are gonna be doing great uh, once we get through this COVID. I think you're gonna see a lot of things happening here by the end of December. It's going to change the market for the better. I think once we get into uh, January and February, you're gonna see some really big things. And by spring, I believe the beginning of the next bull market that's going to last years will be here. And I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised because let's be honest, how many people were saying we're gonna have a massive crash? I was, I was one of the only ones I could see was saying, no, buy, 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 buy. We are not going down 40% again. And all those people in the Patreon that are over there with me, we did that and we are loving it. The portfolios are doing great. Uh, we were in the right industries. We were buying even in the other industries when it rebounded. It was a good thing. I highly recommend coming over. You know, I've been doing this for a long, long time, a long time. So a lot of that experience I, I've been through, the first crash we get, you know, that's kind of unexpected. But the second one, which everybody thinks is gonna come, they, they ain't gonna let that happen. Uh, everything's going well in this country, uh, minus the COVID, of course. I have a lot of family members and friends who are dealing with it right now as we speak. And, you know, I get it. So, but and when it comes to the market and the economy as a whole, I see good things. This NEO stock price prediction is solid. I feel really good about that. I actually think I'm under but I'm gonna be conservative. Anybody knows me, I, I try to be conservative. I don't wanna be the guy going out there and saying, hey, this thing could go up a thousand percent where we're at right now, and this could be at $500 in five years. Possibility, absolutely. But conservatively, based on just normal growth of this company, what I'm seeing, and their normal growth is triple digits right now. Uh, it easily could be up to 275, 300, six times your money in five years. And I always say, if you can double, back when I was a broker, if you could double somebody's money in seven years, that was a good, that's good. You're doing well. And so if you buy a stock and it doubles in seven years, that's a great year. Boy, if I tell you I double, in, if we could double this in five years, that's actually really good. But if I tell you we could go five to six times based on their growth right now, that's incredible. So if you're buying it, it's for the long term. Don't, I, I, I don't do the options for the short term. People like I have an option for a month, a two month, three month. I'm buying any stock straight up, you know, maybe the one thing I would consider is some leaps out there if you can go longer term, depending on the price and all that. But at the end of the day, I am not in any of those. I'm just in the stock. I have a lot of it and I do feel really good about it. So I think I think we got some good things going forward with this NEO stock price prediction. The NEO, the NEO news has been positive. The NEO earnings has been great. And uh, I see some big gains going forward. So thank you for sticking around. Go down there and check out that Weeble link. Get those free stocks. Come over to the Discord. We have our Patreon over there. And once you get on one of the monthly tiers, you, you'll be a part of the Discord and come over and talk to us. We have thousands of people in there at any given time from all around the world. And they have some really good stocks. You can ask them anything you want. And everybody is there to help every, any any second of the day. There's always people there. I love it. It's my, my, it's my second family. Most of the time, it's actually my first. I feel like I'm, I'm over there helping people all the time. I love it. It's a good thing. So come over and join us. Now, with all that being said, you got my NEO stock price prediction? Now let's get out there and make some money.